think you can judge me? Don't any of you talk to me about love or loyalty until you've been through what I have. When have I ever let any of you down? How about the day we met? I'm not a bad man. I didn't run away from Faye. Or Ryan. I was just running away from myself and I couldn't stop. Yeah, well don't let anybody stop you now. Do you remember those photographs that appeared in that magazine last The ones that you didn't want to be in? Yes. Well, she saw them. Quite a shock, considering she thought he'd died over 20 years before. What? Hence no divorce. So, if you two aren't properly married... Please, Maze, you don't... Then we're not even your legitimate children! Don't, don't say that. <sighs> Maisie, do you honestly think I've loved you any the less? I've done everything. I've done nothing. Except for Ron, and you're still doing that now. Please. Please. I didn't know about Ryan. We never even thought. Oh, God! What's happening? I'm the one who feels ashamed. Nothing happened. What? Do you think that makes it okay? That we didn't actually do it? Well, Is that what you think? No, no. Is that what you think? Is that what you think? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, not until she got her feet well and truly under the table. Oh, right, so it wasn't an affair, it was just you catching up on old times. No, oh, Nathan, it was never as simple as that. I never knew about Ryan until then. When I ran away from Faye, I didn't know she was pregnant. I could hardly abandon the boy twice, could I? And you let all this go on? Oh, wait a minute. I'm on your side. I've been sitting on this for years. I wanted to protect you, and he knows that. He knows how much I wanted to keep this family together. You do know that! And you went back to her. Oh, God, you're as stupid as she is. It's because... over the last few months, I came to realise that I'd... I'd never stopped loving her. <gasps> And of all the stupid mistakes I made, that, of course, is the biggest. But I never wanted any of you to get hurt. Oh, I can't stay here and listen to me. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, well done, Mark. Really? Well done. Ryan! Ryan, it's me. Please call me back. Don't make me more worried than I already am, please. I... Just come home, OK? I love you.
Nathan didn't mean that. That I should keep going. Keep running away. Oh, I think he did. So what now? Do you intend to abandon me as well? You're breaking my heart. We ended it for the sake of the children. Not because we don't care for each other. No more lies, Mark. No more excuses. That's it. And we just throw away half a lifetime, like it never happened. You're so concerned about the children, that's fine. Me too. So from now on, nothing comes before them, do you understand? So I stay here, and you leave, and you never come back. If you have nothing, it's because you deserve nothing. I want to see Will. Absolutely not. No way. I want you out of this house before he gets home. Otherwise, I'm going to go out there right now and you will never find either of us. Somebody needs to tell him. Somebody needs to save him from you. He's my son. Get out, Mark. Just get out. Where are you going? I am going to find my children. You okay? I have to get out. I think I'm going to be sick again. I know, I know you said that nothing went on between you and Ryan, but was that just this time? What are you saying? You're as bad as them! No, Maisie, look, I'm sorry, I just... It never happened. I had to ask. Is that supposed to be a good thing? That we didn't have sex? Because I wanted to. <laughs> I really wanted to. More than I've wanted anything for a long time. You didn't know. Nathan! Maisie! I've just seen them drive off in Nathan's car ten minutes ago. Wait, is that who you've been talking to? I'm trying to get through to Ryan, but his phone's switched off. What is going on, Natasha? All I know is something weird is happening. You're all in a state over it. Katie, you don't want to know. Actually, I think I might. Natasha, is Mark Ryan's dad? Are there any more embarrassing questions you'd like to ask me? I'm still trying to get my head around that one. And where did you hear that from? From Ryan in the village. And from what you're not saying now. Katie, I know I can't insist, but I am asking you, please, just go home. So it's true. It's a long story. We can't stay out here all day. Why not? What have we got to go back for? Well, we both need to look after Will. 
Yeah. Deal, okay? Come on. 